in this session I'll derive the equivalent resistance between A and B. We can see that the resistors are neither in series nor in parallel. So we cannot use a series of parallel formulas to find the equivalent resistance between A and B. We have to use Kirchhoff's voltage law and Kirchhoff's current law. I am coming to that a little later. So first of all, we want the equivalent resistance between A and B. In such a case, we always connect a cell. Uh, a cell across the points between which a resistance is asked for. Let the cell EMF be V and suppose this cell supplies a current, current I to this circuit. So if the resistance between A and B is R, then R times I equal to V. So R times I is equal to V. So dividing both sides by I, I get R is equal to V over I. So this is my answer V over I. So my goal is to get V over I. Now to get V over I, we have to use KVL in this loop, this loop and this loop and KCL at the junctions. Now KVL says that in any loop, the total EMF supplied by all the cells connected is equal to the voltage dropped across all the resistors, capacitors, inductors. So, and uh, KCL is, uh, is very uh, intuitive. That is, uh, at any point or any junction in a circuit, the current can neither be stored nor be destroyed. So, whatever current flows in actually flows out. So, if I is flowing in and I1 and I2 are flowing out, then I is equal to I1 plus I2, that is KCL. It's absolutely intuitive. There is nothing new about this. And KVL is total EMF supplied in any loop is equal to the voltage dropped in that loop. So let's use KVL and KCL here. First of all, I is flowing in like this. So at this point, suppose current I1 flows here. So from KCL, this current should be this minus this. So this is I minus I1 because if we have this current equal to I minus I1 then this current plus this current is equal to this current. This current is I minus I1, this current is I1. So if we add them up we get I and I is what entering into this junction. So I1 flows here and suppose I2 flows here. Now again using KCL current here is I1 minus I2 and this I1, I, I minus I1 and this, I, and this I2 are added up here again using KCL and I get I minus I1 plus I2 here. Now this I minus I1 plus I2 and I1 minus I2 are adding up here and coming out as I. So I minus I1 plus I2 plus I1 minus I2 is equal to I. So that is flowing out through B. Now in loop number one, suppose this that is clockwise sense is positive. In loop number two, we also take the same convention clockwise sense positive. Even if we take anti-clockwise sense positive, we get the same answer. So either way it's correct. So equation of loop 1 is voltage dropped across 1 ohm is I1 times 1. So I1 times 1 plus voltage dropped across 3 ohm that is I2 times 3. I2 times 3 and voltage dropped across 2 ohm. Now here this current is opposite to this positive sense. So it's I, I uh, put a negative sign before I minus I1. So it's minus I minus I1 times 2 minus I minus I1 times 2 is equal to 0 because there is no EMF source in this loop. 
So sum of all the voltage drops across all the resistors in this loop is equal to zero. That is equation number one. Now equation number two is from loop number two. It's I1 minus I2 times two. And then I minus I1 plus I2 is flowing opposite to the positive sense. So I put a minus sign here. And that is multiplying one, so times one. And this current I2 is also flowing opposite to the positive sense, so it's minus three I2. is equal to zero. That is equation number two. Now if we solve these two equations, I get I1 equal to, I get I1 equal to five over eight, five over eight I and I2 equal to I over 24 Now we choose a different loop now which includes the voltage source. So if we choose this loop, so this is loop number three. So if we choose this loop, EMS supplied is V. So V is equal to, here the drop is I1 times one. So it's just I1 and then here the drop is I1 minus I2 times 2 plus I1 minus I2 times 2 and there is no other resistor. So if I put I1 equal to 5 over 8 I here, 5 over 8 I plus again 5 over 8 I minus I2 is I over 24 times 2. So from this equation, we get V over I is equal to 43 over 24. So this is the R equivalent of this entire network. So that is how we find the R equivalent of a um, number of resistors which are connected neither in series nor in parallel by using KVL and KCL. Thanks for watching.